Hey guys, welcome to another LEGO collection video. Today we'll be doing my uh, LEGO Harry Potter sets. Obviously it's LEGO. Um, I'm going to walk across my bed as with my other collection, which is in Jaga. I'm going to do Star Wars soon. Getting a set in the mail in the coming days on like the 22nd, I think it's coming. So, you know, got to do uh, Harry Potter in the meantime, because it's like, Probably the theme I have the second most sets out of. After Ninjago, of course, if you saw the Ninjago video, you'd know. Like, it's clearly my biggest. But yeah, um, so let's just, I think we should, actually, let's get, you know, chronological order. <laughs> um, I got my Fanta I got both Fantastic Beast sets. Newt's Case and Grindelwald's Escape. Even though the film sucked. I like the first one, the second one sucked. They're good sets. I like them. Just, like, they're just, you know. Now, we have the Hungarian Horned Hell Drivers of Challenge. I, I like, the dragon's really cool. I really like the dragon. But I really like the tent as well. <laughs> just the exterior, the interior, you know, it could be a bit bigger, you know, a bit more accurate. But, you know, the main thing is the dragon. So, you know, it's fine. Um. Quidditch match. Uh, it's one of my newest ones, actually. You know, I got, like, this one, and. Actually, no, I didn't get that one. I got at least this one before I got a Quidditch match. Actually, I think I got. I think I got Clock Tower as well. Before it. But anyway, yeah, Quidditch match, really cool. You know, my. I use the piece, like the clear pieces in my stop motions now. Specific, specifically, Squad 66, which you know, obviously, you haven't seen yet. So, yeah, now moving on to. We have my uh, Hogwarts Castle. I have uh, all three segments. So, uh, Great Hall, Whomping Willow, and uh, Clock Tower. You know, I think you can kind of tell which is my favourite, really. Um, just really cool. And the interior, and all three. I mean, you can tell which is like the weakest, but it's still cool. Um, and then we got the uh, one pink widow and the front, the Weasley's car back there. We have a couple of like forest sets. Um, I'm sorry if that's wrong. Um, in uh, like, episode three of Squad sixty Squad sixty six, uh, which I just finished filming the other day. Um, I needed trees. I didn't have that many, so I had to like use these trees so that might be wrong um so sorry uh but yeah we got uh expecto patronum with you know like, incredible i'm just gonna call it like deer it might be wrong don't know i haven't got to that point in the book and they don't, they don't say in the film um aragog's lair like it's still cool but it's probably the weakest of the modern of the modern sets oh yeah um, I forgot to include this Harry figure. Um, you know, I'm sorry, in the, uh, collection video, because he's, like, on my display. You see this very high-quality mould, using blue tack to, to get in that pose. Incredible. It's absolutely incredible, you know, such high quality. So what we do on this channel. Um, Hagrid's Hut. Great set, oh, oh, overpriced. You know, like fifty pounds, three hundred pieces. Not the best deal, but you know, it came with Hagrid and Buckbeak. So it's kind of understandable, but it's still kind of overpriced. Still a great set, one of my other favorites. Possibly the most surprising set. I don't know a name. It's like something survival. Yeah, like tall lady. Um, but yes, possibly the most surprisingly good set I've ever had. Since I always like, I was always gonna get it. It was never my favourite, but I really like it. It's really good. Uh, it's someone, it's like, the girls' school. Uh, visit, uh, my first Harry Potter set, like, first ever, like, Harry Potter set that I've ever had. Um, Hogwarts Express. What, something I just found out earlier, I just did a live stream on Instagram setting this all up. You know, go follow me on Instagram, Matthew Foster 669 I think that's my username. Uh, 5972 is a set number, but it's also the set number for, like, an Exo Force set, I think. And that's really weird. But anyway, 
Uh, Hogwarts Express, really cool. Weirdly, it was a Prison of Azkaban set in the same wave as the, uh, you know, like, uh, Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets sets. They really, did we even, like, yeah, the Basilisk came in the Great Hall. We didn't really get, like, an actual Chamber of Secrets set. Oh, wait, the One Pin Willow is based off Chamber of Secrets. It kind of strange it wasn't more of a... Snape's classroom, my only uh, older Harry Potter set, which I'm going to do a video. I think I said this in my minifigure collection video. It's going to be called Lego Worth It today. It should it will be out either this Sunday or next Sunday, depending on if I can get it done in time. Since I've never done reviews, so, you know, it's going to be like a... But is, is, is the, are the old sets worth it today? Um, so yeah, that's what... And it's also a cool set, I got, I, my mom like, just surprised me with it, it's like, she got it for a good deal. And it's a really good set, I do really like it. And finally ending out, I'm pretty sure, yep, nothing else. The night bus, uh... Disappointing, it looks cool on the outside. But there's only two chairs! And the, and the driver's seat. There's only two chairs in the whole thing. Which is ridiculous. So, but yeah, it looks cool, you know. It's whatever. It's fine. Uh, so here is my Lego Harry Potter um, set collection. I did do a minifigure collection, and I also did the set and for set and minifigure collection videos for Ninjago. I'm going to do Star Wars soon, as I said, put in uh, the start of the video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. I'm not forcing you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!